What's up, y'all? This is me, Brian. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I used to do a little spoken word a long a few few years ago, um, and I wrote a little piece. Um, it's called Obstacles. It's um, just talking about raising awareness on people in wheelchairs, you know, and um, how things are kind of complicated when it comes to different churches and um, different arenas. So um, I'm about to do this piece for you real quick. I hope I remember the words. Um, if I stumble, forgive me. Um, but I'm going to try to let it flow, okay? All right, here we go. Obstacles in my way. Obstacles in my way. I guess you're wondering what I'm about to say. Throughout my everyday life, I face things that hinder me. Oftentimes it makes me cry and cry. It seems like my tears won't even try. You see, God has given me a gift, a singing gift. But how will you ever hear my gift when your church doesn't have a wheelchair lift? You see, I've been to so many churches and there were steps in my way. Church members paged back and forth and didn't even know what to say. They told me not to be angry. It'll be okay. But when I left and came back, there were obstacles still in my way. Bishops and pastors, this is something you need to fix. Say you ended up in a wheelchair. Would that be it? Nah, it wouldn't be it. Because you'll probably put up a fuss and say you need a ramp, a lift. You know, that's a must. Say you're a choir member. That's disabled now. You roll to the choir stand and no one lends a helping hand. Wouldn't that hurt you deep down inside? You better think about this. It might make you cry. This message is not just for me, myself, and I, but for the disabled ones who just sit back and let things slide. Don't talk. Just listen. Because you know what? While you're still walking each and every day, I still have obstacles in my way. Thank you.